Hello, thank you for being here. This is the 14th episode of my ongoing series where I sit down with you all and talk about some of the photos I took in Bangladesh. Today, we'll be taking a look at some of the photos I took using Kodak Gold 200 on my Contax T2. So without any further delay, let's take a look at the photos I took. So after I was done with my 13th roll, I was ready to pack up and go back to my hotel. On my way back to the hotel, I saw this beautiful sunset view and I had to take another shot. So I loaded up my 14th roll at the end of the day and I shot this photo of a beautiful sunset. <laughs> So on my way back to my hotel, I saw this man, he had a very long beard, he was wearing some very interesting dress and he was just standing there, middle of the street, doing nothing. I couldn't help but approach him and talk to him and take his photo. After talking to him for a little while, he told me that he ran away from house about 25 years ago in search of God and truth. Talking to him reminded me of one of my uncle from my dad's side who ran away from his house about 25 years ago in search of God. Since that, we have never heard back from him. And as I was talking to this man, a part of me started believing that this man is my long lost uncle. To this day, every time I go back to New York, I want to ask my dad if that is his long lost brother. But every time I want to bring up that conversation with my mom or my dad, a big part of me tells me not to do it because there's about 50 to 90% of the chance that he is not my uncle. I guess we'll never know. There's a saying that's called curiosity kills the cat. And I want to keep this cat alive. So the next day, me and my cousin decided to go to another part of Bandurban. The place me and my cousin was planning on going to that day was very remote in Bandurban and you have to take a boat to get there. On the way to the remote village, we saw this kid who was running around taking a shower in the river and I took this photo. This picture came out very beautiful. It's very hard for me to find a picture that I took and not criticize it at certain extent. But this photo looks perfect in my eyes. This picture is pure nature and this picture is a pure time capsule. There's no sign of technology. There's no sign of garbage. There's no sign of human being in this picture. Only nature and nature only. Trees, mountains and river. That's all I need in life. So after about two hours in the river, we reached this remote village. People in this village don't even speak Bengali. They speak a very unique language called Marathon, and these people are the indigenous people of Bangladesh. This man is a member of that indigenous family and he set up a little shop there. 
I asked him how good is his business in this remote village. He said not much, but it gives him such a joy and peace to be with his own people. And I can relate to him. No matter how far I go, no matter where I go in this planet, my heart always belongs to Dhaka. No matter how bad the city is, no matter how polluted the city is, I always want to be in Dhaka for some reason. So in a sense, I can relate to him. Very ironically, there's a militia group in Bandarbon that are trying their best to try to break Bandarbon away from Bangladesh and declare Bandarbon as their own country. And to see the Bangladesh flag flying in there made this trip even more interesting. The next day I came back to Dhaka and I went to this place called Bongo Bazaar. Coincidentally, two days after I took this photo at Bongo Bazaar, there was a huge fire that burned 90% of the market down to ashes. So it was a very interesting feeling when I first saw this photo. I took this photo in a place called Mohammedpur. I really like this photo because of the composition and the contrast that's going on. The red bag that this man is carrying is doing a really great job at grabbing all of our attention and bringing it down to this one single point. As I'm looking at this bag, my eyes start moving to other red components in this photo like the rickshaw and the stool and spreads out throughout the whole photo. And I really, really love that about this picture. This is a rickshaw puller I bumped into and I wanted to take a photo of him. The man was pretty happy and excited to pose for this photo but as soon as I started taking the photo, he started making a sad face. I don't know why. I told him to smile and he says, my life is not that happy and I want this picture to portray how I truly feel all the time, which was very, very interesting. So I took this photo just like the way it is. This picture came out really nice. I wish I took this picture at f8 because the whole scenario was very, very bright. This kid that's looking directly to the camera is doing a great job at capturing my attention. I'm definitely enjoying this photo. I saw this few van puller, they were talking and they were moving around. As soon as they saw me with the camera, they started talking to me and they were like, hey, take a photo of us. And I was happy to take their photo. The first photo I took, they were a little bit too far away. And then I gave them a few seconds to come closer and I told them to stop. And at that point, as I was taking this photo, another man was crossing the street and I did not want to take this picture with that man in the frame. So I waited for that man to leave and I retook this photo and I think this photo came out beautiful. I love how the van puller in the front and the van puller in the back has the perfect distance between each other to the point that I can tell that they both are part of the same team but they're not in the same level. I was talking to this man for a few seconds. He was just sitting down right in the middle of the street with no bother. So as I was speaking to him, I asked him, why are you sitting right in the middle of the street? And he told me that he's a pharmacist. I wasn't quite sure what that has to do with him sitting in the middle of the street, but yeah, <laughs> I have no idea how him being a pharmacist have anything to do with the question I asked him. But here you go.
there's a man who's a pharmacist sitting in the middle of the street. Not only on one chair, but on two chairs. I kinda sorta trespassed into someone else's house to take this photo because I really enjoyed this composition. I wasn't expecting the background to be all blown out. But nonetheless, this photo came out decent and I'm satisfied with this photo. As I was taking this photo, the man who owns this house came out and he started screaming at me and he started asking me what I was doing. I tried my best to explain to him what I was doing but it seems like he didn't want to understand. But it's alright. I don't worry that people misunderstand me. I do worry that they will understand me and it will damage them way beyond repair. Thank you all for being here. I'll see you on the next episode. Until then, goodbye.